Hello all, welcome back. So this is a small video, sort of a recipe on Azure pipelines. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install an agent on your MacBook Pro or MacBook, you know, mini or whatever. Uh, basically I'm using M1 Pro here. However, in a production like environments, you would not do this because you would use a, a hosted agents or you would use a scalable agents. But in this case, I just wanted to build the code in my laptop and then create a pipeline and show you in the next video how to build an Azure pipeline. So you can also try this out on your Linux or Windows environment. If you are following this for your MacBook, make sure that you have all these prerequisites done and then we go to the next step. Also have your MacBook terminal opened and now go to dev.azure.com. So here dev.azure.com and multi-cloud is my organization. So now go to the organization settings on the left bottom. This is where you'll see all your agents or all the stuff that are configured here. Now go to the agent pools. So here I do not have any you know, agents in the default. So I'm gonna configure here a new agent. So click on the new agent. And then you will see the steps here for Mac OS or Linux or Windows. So if you're following it for Windows, you can click on Windows or if you're doing it for Mac. In this case, since I'm gonna do it on Mac, I'm going to copy this command and paste it in my terminal. So it's creating an agent directory and seeding it to agent directory. Now we're gonna download the package. All right, so we got it downloaded. The next thing that you wanna make sure is that you run this command on your terminal. So this will set your terminal to a developer mode. And the other important step is go to the settings. And in the settings, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. So Skillshare is a platform where you get access to lots and lots of courses and you can pick your specific skill that you want to develop in 2022. I personally use Skillshare to watch this amazing course about YouTube success script and shoot by the legendary MKBHD. It helped me to create better videos and get better at creating content. But if you are interested in DevOps, you can search for DevOps courses as well. So there are courses on DevOps, cloud and, and most importantly, the first thousand people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And I think Skillshare can help you to make 2022 a year of new learning, growth and connection through creativity. So check it out, click on the link right away and do not miss one month free subscription. Go to security and privacy. And here go to the developer tools. So before for me, this terminal was not selected. So make sure you unlock this one. You click on unlock here, select the terminal and then lock it back. And it's gonna restart your terminal, but that's fine. If you do not do that, you might get a weird error and uh, you cannot go further. So please do that. So the next thing that we have to do is config run config.sh. Okay, accept all the terms, why? And here we have to enter the URL. For the URL, it is well documented, I guess here, what to put. Basically it is dev, uh, dev.azure.com slash your organization. So that's the you know, server URL that you have to give here. So copy this whole thing, or you can also copy from here. Uh, till multi cloud guy, which is my organization, and go back to the terminal. I'll paste it here. And the authentication type would be PAT. I'm going to show you what PAT is. So the PAT is nothing but we have to create a we have to create a token. So go to the profile 
here click on the profile and then click on personal access tokens so that's the full form of pat and click on new token so here you can give you know, a macbook or something m1 and instead of giving it as a full access so what we have to do here is click on show all scopes and for the agent pools all you have to do is click on read and read and manage so these permissions are more than enough so click on create you would get a token copy that and go back to the terminal paste the token here click on enter enter the agent pool since we're gonna do it in the default i'm gonna click on enter and then the agent name is fine whatever they have chosen krishna's macbook pro perfect and the work directory is also default so that's it so now our agent is configured and if i go back to my agents here you would see it as configured which is good but it is not online so to make it as online run.sh is trying to connect to the server that's it so now the connection is established and you see I have an agent which is online so in the next video I'm gonna show you how to build the code in my MacBook Pro so basically I'm gonna take a spring boot or spring Java application and then build it in the in an agent which is mine macbook pro i'm going to show you how to build the code in azure pipelines and then using this agent thank you so much for watching this video it's a short video sort of a recipe for azure devops i'm going to create more such short videos it will be helpful for people who are coming here to watch these quick tutorials on azure devops thank you again for watching this video